This week is a special video because we're doing a 2022 mid-year check-in with the freelance industry. Freelance University, a great resource for all types of freelancers, by the way, recently put out a questionnaire to their thousands of subscribers asking for information about their businesses, especially through the pandemic, through global inflation. And what they found is that we are definitely in a remote work revolution, especially with so many businesses embracing the work from anywhere mindset. So let's dig into some of their most interesting freelance trends. First and foremost, since the global pandemic, a whopping 80% of respondents shared that their freelance business either stayed the same or actually grew during these seriously uncertain times. And that's a major win for freelancing. The top five skills that respondents said were the most important for their business right now were understanding technology, project management, virtual administration, writing, and digital marketing. Now, top three soft skills that respondents said were most important to their freelance business, communication, service, and problem solving. And I could not agree more with all three of those things. Again, communication is paramount to this business because we're virtual. You may never meet your clients in person. We don't have the benefit of that water cooler talk. You can't just get up from your desk and have a small talk conversation with your clients. Um, so if you feel like your clients are, um, not really understanding you or not getting to know you, open up to them. I always recommend uh, to my own students that if you have clients, hop on a video chat with them. There's something about that face-to-face -face that makes communication so much stronger. It's gonna make that connection feel stronger because you'll no longer just be this anonymous person behind a keyboard, you'll be an actual human. But communication is huge. Service, obviously, you have to be good at your job. You have to bring strong skills to the table. Uh, and then problem solving, at the end of the day, we as freelancers are there to solve our clients' problems. So definitely agree with all three of those things. Facebook this year was finally dethroned as the number one social media service, and it was replaced by LinkedIn. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I am a LinkedIn fanatic. I think that it is the best and my preferred uh, social network for connecting with other freelancers and potential clients. I have a million videos on LinkedIn. Feel free to search my channel. I have courses on LinkedIn, on Udemy, which I'll link to below. Um, I'm again, I'm a huge proponent of LinkedIn. And if your clients are business oriented, that is very likely the social media where they are. You want to be where your clients are so that you have more of an opportunity to connect with them online. And finally, we're going to end on some good news. This report actually shows that 76% of the respondents said they had an increase in income in 2022. Uh, there was a 6% decrease overall. This is a really, really, really encouraging number because I think it speaks back to that pandemic. More companies are comfortable with working online. More companies are comfortable with opening their, uh, their opportunities up to freelance contractors like you and me. Um, I definitely see Freelance work is growing. It's not going anywhere. And again, if you are just thinking about getting into the freelance business, now is the time because you want to be in on the ground floor before it becomes too oversaturated. So I don't know if this report gets you jazzed for freelance, uh, the freelance life. I really was encouraged to read this whole report uh, because overall it showed that people were, um, we're thriving in this remote day and age, even with the pandemic, even with global rising uh, inflation, um, things are still on the up and up, which is always good to hear. I'm actually going to link to the full report. So if you want to download it for yourself, it's in the description box of this video. Um, but that's it. This is kind of a different video for me. I just thought that this recap for 2022 or halfway through the year, I thought it was super cool. Um, and again, if you were thinking about freelancing, download this report. It really covers a ton of the pros and cons, and it gives you real feedback from real freelancers who are doing this type of work right now. So thank you Freelance Union for putting this out. Super encouraging. If you guys have any questions about this report or any questions about your own freelance business, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, I love your questions and I'm always here to answer them. Thank you so much for watching this week's video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.